being able to come to the table already kind of having prepared yourself mentally for what you're going to say, um, knowing a little bit about the role, knowing a little bit about the organization and really consolidating your answers to where you're not rambling, you're not just like saying random stuff is really what I always do um, for myself and for the people that um, I have as clients as well. Like I will- Let's actually talk about a little bit about interviews. I think this yeah. is also like a good, a good topic because I've been introducing different strategies to my clients with showing them like, hey, I record my interviews, I transcribe them. Mm-hmm. I get like my AI has gotten so good now and they constantly updating their AI now. It knows how to pull every question out based on prompts I made of what I asked, of what the interviewers asked. And so that's perfect to go back and see questions I didn't do good on. I can yeah. go and work on those. It's making your own study guide. Mm-hmm. And I, I found a TikTok the other day and it actually gave a good example of your elevator pitch in the beginning when you're saying, the, about, tell me about yourself, of mm-hmm. like just try to describe yourself in adjectives versus kind of like doing a chronological thing in your thing. Yeah. I was like, you know what? That make a lot of sense. But how do you feel about, because I also know it takes like, for me, interviewing is like working out. Like you got to do four or five before you really start feeling like yourself again. Because mm-hmm. there's so much stuff you forget. The question you've been asked, you might have been asked in a while, or right. you're just presence and talking and talking concisely. And so they can understand how you problem solve and this and that. And your all your different list of things that you're, achievements and stuff that you can draw from and they say well tell me about a time yeah. or this like how do you feel that was going for you like when it, you finally felt like you was okay i'm back in that mode so i'm gonna knock out any interview that comes my way yeah um i've always been really good at interviews i've always been like able to knock them out the park but i think part of that is because i do a lot of preparation on a um on on the back end, before I even get to that, if I know that there is a company that wants to interview me or wants to um, consider me for a position, I'm learning everything that I need to know about them, about the role, and then I'm, like, consolidating it into a a document or something that I could go back and and review. And I like to keep my interview um, responses very brief and to the point. I think that what that is what has helped me to be successful in these interviews because a lot of times when you are not comfortable in a situation, interviews are never comfortable. Like I know a lot of hiring managers will try to, you know, break the ice, but at the end of the day, like your future is in their hands. There's nothing comfortable about that. So being able to come to the table already kind of having prepared yourself mentally for what you're going to say, um, knowing a little bit about the role, knowing a little bit about the organization and really consolidating your answers to where you're not rambling. You're not just like saying random stuff is really what I always do um, for myself and for the people that um, I have as clients as well. Like I will equip them with a guide, like this is what, Um, Your interview might look like, you know, doing a little bit of research, too, on, like, what the company interview process looks like. You can find that information online, you know, like, go on Indeed and see what is a typical interview like, what are some of the questions they're asking. And then you also go back and looking at that job description and working backwards from there and seeing how you can incorporate bits and pieces of that job description into your interview responses, I think is super important because at the end of the day, they're looking for specific things within that um, JD. So you want to make sure that you can articulate how you're a good fit for that because they're going to be listening out for those keywords. They're going to be listening out for those experiences. So if you can find ways to Sprinkle that into your resume, sprinkle that into your interview um, responses and doing a little creeper on the the people you're interviewing with. Also, like go on their LinkedIn, you know, Mm -hmm. see if they have any side projects or websites they're working on and um, seeing how you can kind of incorporate that and break the ice with them as well. Make them comfortable, even if they're not trying to make you comfortable, which most likely they will be. But, you know, make them feel like, you know, them. I wonder if it would be fun to start an interview off with a dad joke and see how that go. <laughs> I, if I was a hiring manager, I would like that. But 
I mean, I'm, like I said, I've had I've had interviewers start off our interviews with icebreakers I've used from this podcast. Yeah. So, Oh, wow. Yeah, and you know that's the thing, too. Like, And that was Microsoft that did that. Ooh, see, they be watching. I've had interviews before um, where people will be like, oh, I've seen your content. Like, And I was like, you see my what? <laughs> you know? So now I'm a little more, like, reserved. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's actually, I'm glad you said that. That's... That's helped before. So, like, if I'm a leadership type of role or whatever, or people yeah. are asking me, hey, what's your experience on mentoring and doing this? And that's like, well, I'll actually start bringing that stuff I do outside of where I said, well, I've been uh, consulting, like, yeah. clients for, like, three, four years now, and I've helped them get into various blue team roles. I have this LinkedIn learning course. Here's the link to that. Hey, here's the link of me talking, like, to some college kids yeah. about security operations so you can get understand of. I don't know how to explain That's things awesome. and talk. And so I share those because they help out. A lot yeah. of times when I share those, they get back immediately and say, oh, yeah. okay, hey, we, we want to talk to you. And that's the thing, too. Like, you want to, in this current economy, in this climate, especially in the job market, you really want to try to make yourself a little bit visible. Um, and I know people hate LinkedIn, but I love LinkedIn. I do, too. <laughs> I love LinkedIn, okay? Because they have so many different features where you can, like, literally make yourself stand out as a candidate. You could be a regular person and be a thought leader on LinkedIn and be able to just speak on what you know. That's me. I've gotten people who I barely talk to but know of this content from the show yeah. or post I've made to where they're just like, yeah, we know who you are. Yeah. Um, we definitely need you on the team. Let me tell them about you so at least they can interview you. Exactly. I've had that happen. So that's why I'm always telling clients, like, hey, you don't have to be an influencer, but people should know when they go on your page right. what role you're trying to transition to yeah. and what you care about. And if you start just putting that work in little by little, it's going to work. Because the biggest thing, like you were you were talking about earlier, like with the data and the stuff you're doing, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know how to explain those things you're mm-hmm. doing. Some of these people aren't using the tools at work yet they're just yeah. labbing with them so i was like in order to understand what you're really talking about you need to blog and you need to make posts and walkthroughs so you're comfortable talking about them yeah. in interviews i was like if not this is going to be that and everybody's been here in the interview for it and I, I know i know it if you give me some time i can figure I, it out everybody's been there before because yeah. it's 